Away from the corruption issues now and on to more controversy. Well, this time in Nakuru County, Tuesday's images of fistfights among members of Nakuru County Assembly shocked the entire nation. MCAs exchanged kicks and blows over the leadership of the County Assembly. And on Wednesday morning, police officers were not taking any chances. Here's our reporter, Cam Chemenza, with an update. Thank you so much. Now, Nakuru County Assembly has in the recent past actually found itself in a confusing or rather frantic situation. One issue is about the stalemate over who holds the majority leadership, a case that is still pending in court and we are waiting to find its outcome. But the picture that was painted yesterday in the Assembly, especially the chaos and the exchange of whips by the members of Assembly, actually got everyone's tongue wagging. We understand the reason behind that, however, was that an MCA from Biashara Ward by the name Stephen Kuria was meant to table a motion seeking to make amendments to Standing Order 195 Article 2 that uh, aims at reducing the threshold to remove Deputy Speaker from two-thirds to a simple majority. The motion to amend Standing Order 195 Article 2, however, is based on grounds of gross misconduct for the, for, on the side of the Deputy Speaker, as well as in subordination and going against chapter 6 which is on ethics and integrity and the motion is what actually brought chaos yesterday because the side that lies with the deputy speaker seeking to block the members from amending the, um, the, 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 the standing order actually is the one that led to the eruption of chaos this morning however the assembly again took its cause and uh, the member for Biashara Ward Stephen Kuria was given the opportunity to table his motion earlier on however as the MCA was going on with tabling his motion. Four members were ejected from the assembly on uh, grounds that they were behaving in a disorderly manner. The motion was later, however, tabled and it received a majority of supporters, most of them saying that the amendment would actually help to bring sanity in the assembly that has in the recent past actually experienced chaos and misunderstanding. In the afternoon, the assembly is going to resume to debate a motion meant to be tabled by one member Jonathan Warothe seeking to impeach the Deputy Speaker Samuel Tonoe and we are keeping an eye on that and we, and we are going to bring you the details as they unfold from Nakuru County Assembly. My name is Kamche Menza, back to you in Nairobi.